Greetings, friends. Wanted to take a few moments with you today and share with you some reflections on Jesus' words in the Lord's Prayer, where he says, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. In that prayer, he is inviting us to see more clearly that the receiving of forgiveness and the giving of forgiveness go hand in hand. We know and believe as people of Jesus Christ that we are forgiven freely apart from anything that we have done to deserve it. We are forgiven of all of our sins through the death of Jesus on the cross. Everything we've ever done wrong or are doing or will do, Jesus has taken to the cross so that as we repent and turn to him seeking his forgiveness, he gives that to us. And in that prayer, he's making clear to us that it is likewise something that he wants us to do, not only to receive forgiveness, but to offer it to others, just as he has, has offered it to us. And that's important for us to understand that, that the two go together like, like hand in glove. They're not intended to be separated from each other. We're not intended, in other words, to be very glad to receive forgiveness from the Lord, but at the same time refusing to offer it to other people. Jesus is saying that goes completely contrary to what I want you to be as my people. But the Lord would also have us understand that he's not simply asking or commanding us to forgive other people as he has forgiven us. He also wants us to see in that request, in that command, that he's doing it truly because he loves us, that he wants us to forgive other people because he knows it's the very best thing for us to do. And we know that from our experience to be the case that when we've held a grudge against someone, that it eats away at us, that on the inside of us, it only brings destruction and problems and even illness. And so Jesus in his love for us says, I want you to give the same forgiveness that I've given to you. I want you to share that with other people. One of the ways he illustrates it in the gospels is to, to tell a story in which he illustrates that a person who does not forgive is like a person who ends up getting put in prison. And so Jesus, who wants us free, says, freely forgive even as I have freely forgiven you. And you will find that it releases you. It releases you to share the love of Christ that you yourselves have received. So blessings to you as you consider these things here this morning. I want to finish with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Oh Lord, thank you that we are people fully forgiven by your grace in Jesus, your son. And we pray having received that, Lord, that we too would choose to freely forgive others as they sin against us. And in so doing, that we would experience the freedom and peace that you intend us to experience in the giving of forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, for this. We pray it in the name of Christ. Amen. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you again soon.